Welcome to Train World TV. I'm James Wright. Today we're going to be taking a look at the MRC Tech 6. So with that said, let's head to the layout and see what this controller can do for you. Now this is a Tech 6 Sound Controller 2.0. So this has an input of 12 to 15 volts and an out maximum current rating of 2 amps. Total output of 30 VAs. So we're going to take a look at what's in the box here. You've got the controller itself and a nice easy plug up here. You've also got a power pack to get this all plugged up. AC adapter. So a simple wall plug for that. So let's actually get this thing in operation and see what it's about. A quick glance at the back will show a lot of instructions. MRC likes to print instructions on their product. It's a nice, convenient thing that they do there. You can read all about this if you want to pause the video, but we'll be covering some of it. More importantly, on the side, we've got track inputs here for both track wires and an input for your wall adapter, which is a simple plug there. So it's that easy to set up a few seconds and you're ready to use the Tech 6 power pack. So the controller's all set up and I've got a standard locomotive on the track. This is a DC only, there's no decoder inside. It says right in the manual if you want to operate in standard with a non-decoder equipped locomotive you press the mode key until you get to standard. I've already gone there because if you have it in dual it will actually activate the decoder buzz noise uh, saying that you know you're operating on DCC so that is already in standard mode. Now, all we simply do is turn the throttle on the knob. And as you can see, the locomotive is moving. And we're going to go turn the throttle back down. And you've got directional capabilities, just like on any DC power pack. And now we're going backwards. So that is simple standard mode with DC and that is this controller in DC mode just like any DC power pack but here's where it really gets different if you want power and sound control mode you've got to hit the dual button the mode switch to get to the dual light lighted area right here so before I do that I'm going to switch out my locomotives Right now we've got a Kansas City Southern locomotive that is DCC and sound equipped. And I'm going to switch this mode to dual. Look at that, sound fires up. Just like if you're operating in DCC. The operation means that like zero would spell. Two, horn. Three is short horn. And you've got all the features of the decoder. And another great thing is it doesn't just stop at nine. You want to go past nine, you just hit shift and then the two digit number for the higher functions. Now we're going to move this under the dual mode. You still get all of the sounds. You can change direction still, just like on the DC mode that I demonstrated. And that is the DCC operation of the MRC Tech 6 sound control. I'm going to mute the locomotive so we can cover some additional features because we're still not done with this little wonder box as I want to call it. But on the front you've got a jack and you can actually purchase a handheld for an MSRP of less than a hundred dollars that you can plug in and operate with the handheld version. So that's an additional feature and it 
again, there's more hidden features of this, including even CV programming on DCC. So if you want to program CVs, you just hit P and it lights up all four of the lights up top you can see there. You input the CV number and you hit enter, which is the enter buttons right there. And then you input the CV value and then you hit enter again and it'll change that CV to whatever you want. So just recapping the video, you've got DC operation in the DC mode, which is the STD mode right there, standard. And then you've got DCC operation in the dual mode. You see the locomotives firing up again. You've got the ability to program CVs. You've got an ability to add handhelds and operate in both directions. So very, very packed budget-friendly controller from MRC. It has enough power to really handle some decent layouts. It's got an input of 12.5 to 15 volts and an output of 0 to 15 volts, a maximum current rating of 2 amps, and a total output of 30 VAs. So really powerful little system here. For if you're looking for any of the great products in this video, check out your favorite retailer or shop online at trainworld.com. Trainworld has a robust supply of products to fit your modeling needs.